And this day began with what seemed to be an inevitable move, and yet it was still jarring at the same time. Premier Doug Ford declared a state of emergency. It's only happened twice in this province before, during the 2003 blackout and SARS. And he made the announcement just before the first possible COVID-19 death in this province was announced. This morning, I've declared a state of emergency in the province of Ontario. We're facing an unprecedented time in our history. This is a decision that was not made lightly. COVID-19 constitutes a danger of major proportions. We're taking this measure because we must offer our full support and every power possible to help our health care sector fight the spread of COVID-19. The first order in the Premier's declaration was to prohibit gatherings of over 50 people and effective immediately until March 31st, bars and restaurants are closed, but takeout and delivery still allowed. Indoor rec centres, libraries, private schools, licensed childcare centres, theatres, movie cinemas and concert venues must also shut down. Declaring a state of emergency gives the province the power to make the order rather than just a recommendation. This is not a provincial shutdown. I repeat, this is not a provincial shutdown. The Premier stressed that everything else will carry on. Public transit will still run. Grocery stores, convenience stores and pharmacies will remain open, as well as businesses and construction sites. It's critical we keep the supply chain going. Absolutely critical. We need our grocery stores open. We need the manufacturers of goods to continue manufacturing uh, to get the uh, products in the stores. Today's extraordinary measures are to try and flatten the curve, to slow down the pace of infection so hospitals don't become overwhelmed. A growing concern now that it appears cases are being spread in the community rather than just through international travel. A short time after the state of emergency was declared, Ontario's first likely COVID-19 death was announced. A 77-year-old man who died in a Barrie hospital. He tested positive for COVID-19 after his death and had had close contact with another person who also tested positive. An autopsy will be held to determine if underlying issues caused the man's death or if it was the virus. And one more change to tell you about. They're not closing, but the LCBO is reducing store hours to elevate cleaning time. As of this Thursday, they will be open from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. And the Ford government also announced $300 million for the first stage of relief for the front line. 200 of that comes from the feds. It will go to creating 575 new hospital beds, 25 more dedicated assessment centers and more protective equipment for health care workers.